Hello, my name is Brian Lesur, president of Xenix Software. In this short demonstration, I'll show you how a set of automated tests built to test a PowerBuilder Classic application can be reused without change to validate the deployment to a PowerServer web application. Let's start out by comparing the definitions of the PowerBuilder and Power Server application objects. In Essential Test, we provide a way for users to create a library of all the objects that make up the target application. Each object is given a name. We call those object definitions app objects, short for application objects. They're created mainly by dragging and dropping from the snapshot image like this. If the implementation of an object changes in the future, the user need only change the definition details. Since automated tests refer only to the object name, the tests will not require any changes. That's one of the ways that Essential Test reduces the cost of keeping tests up to date as the target application changes. Although the Power Builder and Power Server apps are built on two different platforms, Windows versus Web, we've normalized the object hierarchy so that a single set of app objects can be shared. A snapshot is made up of an application image, a tree view that represents the object hierarchy, and the attributes of each object. A snapshot series is a set of snapshots that models a test transaction. I've created two snapshot series, one for the Power Builder version of the target application, and one for the Power Server version. Let's have a look at a screen that is rich in terms of application objects. This is the Power Builder version of the Order Viewer. Notice that the object hierarchy begins with a main window, and the Order Viewer is implemented as an MDI child. It contains two data windows with the presentation style of Grid. We refer to the class of those objects as PBTable. It also contains a tree view window and a couple of buttons. Now let's compare to the Power Server version. Again, we start with a main window, and the order viewer is an MDI child. It contains the same objects as the Power Builder version. I also want you to note that there is only a single path statement, which Essential Test uses to recognize or locate an object. Now let's have a look at a sample test. In Essential Test, tests are built from reusable steps. This test has been built using six automated steps. I'll click on the step called Select a Customer so that you can see what a step looks like. Steps like this one are created by dragging and dropping from the snapshot image, like this. It's quick and easy to do. Notice that there is nothing hard-coded in the step. The row that is selected in this step is based on a parameter called custNum the value of which is passed in. That way, the step can be easily reused. The reason we took this approach is to reduce the cost and level of effort to maintain automated tests when the target application changes. This step might be used in 10 tests or hundreds of tests. If the application logic changes, I can come to this one step 
and make a change without impacting any of the tests that call it. This sample test is bound to a data table that was automatically generated by a central test. All I had to do was input the test data, which is made up of my input data and my expected results. I wrote a very minimal test plan to contain my test, which I refer to as new order. I dragged the sample automated test called place new order over to the test plan node, and you can see the green T associated with that name of the test displayed below. Now let's run the test first against the Power Builder version of the application. When the test completes, I can tell that it passed based on the green check mark. I can also examine the trace, which details all of the actions that were executed against the target application. I'll run the test again, but this time I'll target the Power Server version of the sales demo. And again, I see that it passes and can view the trace of the run. We're very excited to offer our customers a way to reuse their Power Builder test to validate their Power Server deployments. We understand that it's very important to run the exact same test to prove that the deployed application is working as expected. We welcome you to give it a try and let us know what you think. I hope that you have found this demonstration informative. Thanks, and if you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at www.xenix.com.